Welcome back to another edition of Cover One, The Film Room. I'm your host, Eric Turner. Unfortunately, Nate and I's schedules didn't match up this week, so I'm running solo again. And considering how Josh Allen played, this just means the episode will be shorter and have one less guy critiquing the young man's game. The defending Super Bowl champs defense, led by defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo, simply took it to the Bills offense. They were aggressive, physical, and unrelenting. They beat up the Bills offensive linemen and mugged the talented receiving core. It led to several penalties, but it also forced the slightly built receivers to work for every release and for Allen to hold on to the ball and make throws under pressure. Allen was blitzed 48% of his dropbacks and under pressure 55% of his dropbacks. When under pressure, he only completed 30.8% of his passes for 44 yards. That's 3.4 yards per attempt, simply an abysmal showing on the big stage with pressure on his shoulders. His 62.5% adjusted completion percentage was ranked 23rd for week 6, and it brings his season-long adjusted completion percentage to 79.3, which is 9th overall. Allen has a chance to bounce back from two straight subpar performances as the Bills take on the Jets in week 7. But before we move forward, let's break down his film from week 6 to get an idea on what he needs to work on going forward. First play of the game, this is not how you want your quarterback to start the game. The Bills are in an empty set. They run their weak side option with Cole Beasley in the slot to the top of the screen. Diggs is in the slot to the bottom in that Haas concept to the bottom of the screen. On the snap, what you're going to see happen is Tyron Matthews in the slot. He's playing with inside leverage. The corner outside is going to bail with the number one wide receiver. And of course, you have a safety over the top. So that's an easy leverage read for Cole Beasley. All he's going to do is run an out route right here, and he's going to be wide open. And unfortunately, Josh is not able to make this throw. It looks like his feet aren't properly aligned to throw it closer to the boundary. Instead, he throws it up the field and inside to Beasley when the ball should be out this way so he can catch it and then get upfield. And he probably gets a good gain on this. This is probably a 15, 20-yard gain for Cole Beasley if the ball is accurately thrown by Josh Allen. Instead, it falls incomplete. From the end zone angle, you see Josh Allen pointing out Matthew. Now, Matthew is the key to the Chiefs' defense. He's their opportunistic defender. He's a guy that is playing almost like a Troy Palomalu role where he can blitz, he can drop deep, he is very aggressive and, and tries to create turnovers. He's a guy that they always had an eye on when they were setting protections, and especially when Josh was trying to figure out who he's throwing hot off. So if Matthew were to blitz here, he would be the hot, or sight adjustment by Josh here, and obviously Josh would throw it to Beasley. So you see Matthew. Again, he takes inside leverage. Josh is in a one-step throw right here, and it does look like he maybe aligns a little too far inside. You would think, given where Beasley is running, he's running that out route, that basically his feet should probably be a little more out this way. Maybe the front foot should be uh, more towards the boundary here. But it's not, and you see exactly where the ball lands. It's inside and low, and Beasley's not able to adjust to this throw. And it's unfortunate because, as you can see, there is some space up the field if that is accurately thrown to the proper shoulder by Josh Allen. Cole Beasley would have a blocker out in front, and then who knows? Again, 15 to 20 yards at least on this play. This is Dable setting him up for success early on the very first play of the game. Josh has to hit this wide-open receiver. On the very next play, you're going to see Josh, again, with a little inaccuracy on this play. What the Bills are trying to do is hit John Brown on the crosser in the intermediate area. He gets one-on-one -on -one coverage as the Chiefs drop out into a cover one robber. So you're going to see the safety drop down be the robber. He is going to rob that deep crossing route by Cole Beasley. And then the safety is going to drift and help rob the deep route to the bottom of the screen. So that leaves John Brown one-on-one -on -one with this defender right here. And this should be an easy throw for Josh Allen. This is the type of throw that Josh has made early this season. And even dating back to last year, he loves those crossers. John Brown has a good step on this DB. Now, I do think his injury has hampered him a little bit. He does not accelerate away from this defender like he normally does. But either way, Josh Allen drifts and misses this throw. From this end zone angle, you're going to see how Josh Allen drifts when he probably could have reset on this play. So on the snap, here comes Singletary off the play fake, and he is going to try and pick up this linebacker right here. And Josh feels that linebacker breathing down his neck, so he drifts to his left just a little bit. And right now is probably where he should be setting his feet instead of consistently drifting to his left here. Now, he does get, swing his hip through, which he's done really well this year. 
But this is that area where he needs to just set his feet. He has a good platform if he sets his feet and makes his throw to John Brown. Again, watch John Brown's acceleration. It's lacking here. He's not 100%. He does not separate like he normally does on these crossing routes. And again, this is really on Josh, though. I mean, the throw is there. He has an opportunity to throw it with some anticipation to lead John Brown to greener pastures. He doesn't hear. He drifts a little too much, and he's not able to complete this throw. Two by two set, Bills are in 10 personnel, 7.26 in the first quarter, second and 10 situation. The Bills run a little switch release to the bottom of the screen. This is a nice completion to Cole Beasley versus that man coverage. That DB has to work over the top of the traffic. And you can see the defender to the bottom of the screen is giving that receiver the business. He is jamming him hard at the line of scrimmage, riding him through the release and through the drive phase of that stem. Cole Beasley is just running up the sideline, making that DB work over the top of that traffic. And then as soon as that he realizes that defender is over the top, that's when he puts his brakes on and comes back to the ball. You see him as he's turned right there, the ball is incoming, and he still continues to work back to the ball. Good job by Cole Beasley going up and getting the ball for Josh Allen. Obviously, Josh was struggling early on, and this throw even was a little high, but this was a good read and catch by the quarterback and the wide receiver of the Bills. So from the end zone angle, you see Josh have his hands up over his shoulders, calling out an alert. He sees man coverage here. That's why he attacks with that switch release to the left side of the screen here. But I like what Allen does on this play. He does drift a little to his left, but he trusts Devin Singletary that he's going to pick up his blitz protection or his man and pass protection. So on the snap, Singletary is in a dual read. He's in a scan protection. Initially, he's looking out to the right at Tyron Matthew. If Matthew were to blitz, he'd come over and pick him up. Matthew doesn't blitz. So now, Devin Singletary has to find the mic. Here comes the mic looping up the middle, and you see Singletary stone him in the hole. Very good pass protection by Singletary, something he struggled with last year. Watch him lead with that inside foot, square him up, and meet him at the line of scrimmage. That's what you want to do. Josh slides to his left and finds Cole Beasley. Again, he slides maybe a little too far, but, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. He slides to his left, finds a platform to throw. Even though the throw is a little high, it's a good job by Josh Allen of getting out there, getting out of the pocket, and finding the receiver that you need to versus this coverage. Third and seven situation in the first quarter, ball on a 30-yard line. This is the miss to Singletary in the flats to the top of the screen. So Singletary motions in from out wide, Safety is on him. It appears to be man coverage. And if you look at the other receivers, it, it, it is showing as man coverage. And the Chiefs blow this man coverage call. Singletary's motion into the backfield puts four eligibles to the top of the screen, which is what we typically call four strong. On the snap, what ends up happening is they drop Devin Singletary. They send a cover zero blitz at Josh Allen. And Josh Allen has the answers. Dable gave him the answer to zero blitz. But Josh is unable to execute it. The ball should be coming out right now. Josh does see two defenders in his face. But if he just throws this up and over those guys, Devin Singletary is wide open in the flats. These are throws he's got to make. Instead, he doesn't throw it on time. He holds it and then ends up throwing it up the field as if he's trying to lead Singletary. When really, if he just throws this on time, this is a big play and possibly a touchdown. If this is thrown in time... When no one is covering Devin Singletary right here out to the boundary, Singletary is catching that and he's getting up the sideline. Everybody else is occupied in man coverage. There is no one anywhere near Singletary to stop this play. Josh has to hit this play. He has the answer. He's got to hit Singletary on time so he can make a play. Here it is from the end zone angle, and you'll see as the ball is snapped, Everybody blitzes Josh Allen here. There's no one in the middle of the field. It's man on man. There are two unblocked defenders, as is often the case to the right-hand side here. This is a zero blitz. This is something that Josh struggled with last year, partly because he didn't have the answers from the coaching staff, partly because he just didn't recognize it and know where to go. This is all on Josh. Josh has to make this throw on time. There's no way that Chris Jones or Tyron Matthew is going to stop this play if he just throws it up and over those two defenders. And gets it out to Singletary. And there's probably no one going to stop Devin Singletary from scoring on this play. Third and nine situation, top of the second quarter, 12-0-7 on the clock. The Bills are down 7-3. to On this third and long, you're going to see Josh Allen 
use that dummy cadence. It's something he likes to do on third and long. And this really shows, Josh, what the Chiefs are going to do on defense. As the play rolls, you'll see Tyron Matthew in the slot get ready to blitz right there. So that dummy cadence really showed the Chiefs cards here. And that allows Josh to change the play. He sees that Matthew is blitzing there. So he takes the Bills out of this condensed set and adds an extra blocker, Gabriel Davis, right here to the bottom so that they can pick up this blitzer off the edge here. Teams love to do that on third downs versus the Bills, especially when they play main coverage. When the Bills are in those tight condensed sets, it's easier to disguise which guy is blitzing off the edge from the secondary, which is something Josh has struggled with going back all the way to Wyoming. So now you see Matthew in the slot. He can't hide this blitz anymore. He has to bump inside that receiver because he's blitzing. And this defender has to move over the top of Beasley. So now it's a lot easier to diagnose for Josh Allen. Josh takes that shot after a good block by Gabriel Davis. There's no safety help. It's a secondary release by Diggs at the bottom of the screen. So you see him try to set up that defender inside and then work back outside and get down the field and he draws a penalty here again the Chiefs were playing physical with the Bills receivers and it paid off for the Bills on this play and eventually leads to a touchdown here you can see Josh pulling in Gabriel Davis to help out pick up the blitz here on the snap Davis picks up Matthew you see Singletary step into the a gap and as that defender drops out then he releases so good job of him diagnosing, checking, and releasing. And then Josh quickly gets the ball out, and he knows that a big hit is coming from Chris Jones because, of course, the guard, Cody Ford, gets smoked by Jones here. Double-handed swat and then just throws him by. And Josh just stands in there and shows off his toughness. He's a big quarterback. He's willing to stand in there for his team and take a big hit from Jones there. Jones plows him. I mean, he runs right through him and then lands on top of the big quarterback but Josh is able to get it out to his target and give his guy a shot, and they are able to draw a penalty. So good job by Josh Allen from the shoulders up. You know, the throw didn't connect, but this is a good job of him of diagnosing what the Chiefs were sending at him blitz-wise. And you got to give props to Brian Dable because he gave Josh an outlet. He gave him an audible that he could check to. It's something they did a couple times this game when Matthew appeared to be blitzing off the edge. Josh changed a play. He got him out of these condensed sets and gave the, the offense a chance to make a play down the field. And he tries to doing that to Stephon Diggs on this play. First and four situation. Ball on the four-yard line. 11-29 on the clock in the second quarter. This is the touchdown to Stephon Diggs. Bills run a similar play to what they ran to Cole Beasley against the Redskins last year. It's a play-action pass with a pulling guard. Josh escapes the pocket and is able to hit Diggs to the bottom of the screen. This was a great play by Stephon Diggs. He did a great job of understanding where he was along the boundary, separating late in this play, and bailing his quarterback out when really Josh Allen was running out of real estate. It's a pivot route by Diggs at the bottom of the screen. So because it's man coverage, that's who Josh wants to go to. If it were zone coverage, say some type of cover three or cover two, Josh would probably be looking to the backside receiver coming out of the slot, Gabriel Davis on the over route. But again, Josh does a good job of just extending the play. The extra defender that was covering the tight end to the bottom of the screen right here. This guy gets lost in the wash here. He's in no man's land because his guy stayed in the block. And really, he could have been the difference maker on this play. If he actually makes a play on the ball here instead of guarding grass... There's a good chance that this play isn't completed if he gets in that passing lane. Third and 11 situation, 245 on the clock in the second quarter. Bills are down 13 to 10. The Bills run their dagger variation with Stephon Diggs being the intended target to the top of the screen. They draw a flag on this play, but I like what Josh Allen does from pre to post snap here. He diagnoses this coverage because on the snap, it looks like it's man coverage just on how everyone is aligned here, but it's actually some type of pattern matching coverage. As I let it roll, watch the middle defender, Tyron Matthew, carry that deep crossing route right there. So he carries that route, and it's almost like some type of quarters are covered too, but they're pattern matching these routes. So Josh initially wants to target Davis over the middle on that play, similar to how he hit Davis last week for a touchdown that was called back. As the tape rolls, You'll see the hook-to-curl defenders both jump the shallow crossing route by John Brown. 
coming from the bottom of the screen. And that, of course, opens up Stefan Diggs on the in-breaking route behind it. Diggs does a good job of getting into that window right behind those defenders and drawing the flag here. It's a good route, too. It's not just a simple vertical stem. Watch how he works the stem. He works it inside, gets back outside into the blind spot, forcing that defender to turn, and then eventually breaks inside here and, again, draws that penalty. But you can tell from the end zone angle how frenetic Josh Allen was in this game. Early pressure from the Chiefs, kind of in that Bill Belichick mold of, Getting a quarterback off his spot was kind of how the Chiefs played it. But this is a four-man pressure, and while Josh does feel a little pressure off the edge here, watch his head movement, watch his feet, watch his eyes, and how he navigates this play down the field. He's a little all over the place here. You see him looking left, middle, right, and now he wants to escape here. He sees Jones pushing the pocket right here. So he drops his eyes on this play and almost looks to escape right at this moment you see him he kind of wants to escape out here but again does a good job of recovering get his eyes back downfield and then recognizing that okay i have that deep dig route to dig so i'm gonna throw it to him but you see that he even checks backside to the check down i mean he's all over the place on this play and it really kind of shows you where his head was versus the chiefs here of course this goes incomplete and it's ruled a penalty but this is just how the Chiefs really got him off the mark, got his timing off on some of his throws. Third and sixth situation, we're in the third quarter, 9.43 on the clock. The Bills are down 13 to 10. The Bills send out a New England Patriots staple. It's a juke route by the slot receiver, Cole Beasley, to the top of the screen. But they also have Diggs in the slot to the bottom of the screen. So it's really a high low of the Chiefs defense. And, and the Chiefs drop out into... Man coverage, it's cover one, they have a rat defender, and that rat defender immediately opens up to dig. So now Josh knows if that defender is going to help leverage the inside for his teammate that is on digs here, Josh knows that he's going to have Beasley wide open over the middle. Beasley has a little hesitation in that juke route, and he's wide open over the middle, and Josh can't hit him on this play. This is a better look from the end zone. So you initially see that rat defender sugaring over Mitch Morris and all that is doing is getting one-on-ones for the Chiefs defenders or pass rushers on the Bills pass blockers on the snap you see him drop out he becomes the rat over the middle he helps out with digs so Josh Allen has Cole Beasley wide open you see him check the coverage the leverage of this DB initially now he is checking the rat defender right here and as the play progresses and as that slow developing juke route progresses, Josh knows that he has Cole Beasley wide open over the middle right here. There is no way that that rat defender could get to Beasley over the middle, but he just doesn't make the throw here. He has the time, he has the play to make this throw, but his feet don't match his eyes. His feet are behind his eyes on this play. He doesn't set it properly, and you can see him throw off balance here he is not transferring his weight properly here this is a short throw something that Josh has done really well all season but on this play his mechanics fail him and he doesn't complete this wide open play on third down towards the end of the third quarter 102 on the clock second and eight situation the bills are now down 20 to 10 they send out a deep shot those deep crossers this is one of their bread and butter plays but Josh Allen recognizes quite early that this play is not there he recognizes during his drop that the play is not going to be there so he immediately checks it down he doesn't waste any time he sees that the defense is dropping out in the two safety look and that the corners are dropping into off and soft coverage so he immediately gets it to tyler croft in the flats and croft is able to get a positive gain to set up a third and manageable situation watch it from the end zone angle it's so decisive he understands what coverage the Chiefs are playing. He understands that the safety Sorensen is dropping into that deep half of the field. So he immediately gets it to Croft. And you can see he doesn't even have his feet really about him. But he's able to get it to Croft so that Croft can get upfield. It's a decisive play by Josh Allen. I like how he processes the coverage. He diagnoses it pre to post snap. And he makes the decision by the time he gets to the top of the drop. And that is key on a check down play to the tight end.
First and 10 situation, we're in the fourth quarter, 9.07 on the clock. The Bills are down 23-10. to 10. The Bills send out a good two high safety beat of their D pivot or diagonal pivot route to the top of the screen by Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis. And I just want to see Josh Allen use his eyes a little better on this play. Stephon Diggs is the number one receiver running that deep out or deep corner route. Gabriel Davis is running the flats concept or diagonal route to the flats. And I like to see Josh use his eyes to hold that corner down low so that he can hit digs on that deep corner route this is a throw that you saw Patrick Mahomes make in the game to Travis Kelsey in the corner of the end zone versus a similar coverage I'd like to see Josh slow down his eyes slow down his mechanics and make this throw to Stefan Diggs and you'll see it better from the end zone angle so watch Josh Allen's helmet and the way he positions his body on this play so initially on the snap he looks to the flats and you can see him position his body to make that throw but he comes off that and now he's looking deep and for some reason he doesn't make this throw he doesn't throw it with anticipation he doesn't like the leverage by this hook to curl defender right here this defender the safety is still flat footed obviously the corner's not on the screen but he's hanging low there's a chance for Josh Allen to hit a big play here instead he comes back from reading high to reading low and throwing it without his mechanics to Gabriel Davis not a bad play. He still gets positive yardage. But as you can see, Josh left some yardage on the field on this play. And he's a little hectic with his eyes and body positioning and mechanics on this play. He could easily have just stayed low, read low to high here, held that corner just a second longer so he could hit digs deep here. But instead, he just checks it down and takes what the defense gives him. Now we're in the fourth quarter, just under eight minutes. The Bills are down 23 to 10, first and 10 situation with the ball on the 44-yard line. So as you know, fourth quarter is Josh's quarter, and the game started to slow down for him. But the Chiefs also did play a little softer defense, being up uh, a few possessions here. The Bills come out and run that switch concept to the bottom of the screen. They have a couple vertical routes to the top of the screen. And prior to the snap, the Chiefs show what looks to be like a single high man coverage type look. But of course... They roll out of it as a ball snapped, and they dropped into what looks like either a cover two or most likely more of a quarter's coverage. And you'll see Josh from the end zone angle. He starts his reach to the top of the screen because it's a single high look. He's working right to the left or top to bottom on the screen from this angle. And as that drops out into a two high safety look, then he comes down to the bottom of the screen and hits Stefan Diggs on a little pivot route and it's a good job by Dix because this is covered pretty well by the hook to curl defender right here he does a good job of not only gaining depth with Diggs, but of closing down that passing window he's able to uncover once that defender gets his eyes on the quarterback and that's when Diggs will pivot to the bottom of the screen and find a window for his quarterback look at it from the end zone angle prior to the snap the chiefs have a single high safety look post snap they change the picture for Josh. And as that happens, Josh changes where his eyes are. He immediately starts scanning right to left. He goes to the left side here with that switch concept. Here's Diggs at the top of the route. Curls inside here and pivots back to the sideline. There's an opening for Josh to throw it there, and he hits Diggs. It's a good job of processing the coverage by Josh Allen pre to post snap. They change the picture on him, so he changes his read. He changes where his eyes are and makes a throw to Diggs. All right, let's end this breakdown on a high note. We're just under seven minutes in the fourth quarter. First and eight situation. Bills down 23 to 10. The Chiefs send out a cover zero blitz, and Josh has an idea that this is coming because the middle of the field is kind of wide open. The safety right here is stacking or capping the slot defender here, and even the defender Tyron Matthew to the top of the screen is kind of capping this defender right here in the slot versus Gabriel Davis. So Josh has an inkling that a cover zero blitz is coming. And so he points out who they are throwing hot off of. And that's a slot defender to the bottom of the screen on Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley's just running a little in-breaking route here. Post-snap, you're going to see the defensive end rush upfield so that he pulls Dawkins up the field. And here comes the edge defender right here. And he's picked up by the running back, Devin Singletary. So good blitz pickup by Singletary there. Josh is able to find his hot route or sight adjustment on this play. This is Josh playing above the shoulders here this is Josh playing quarterback here this is something that he struggled with his first couple years that he's shown that if he has the proper answers given to him he can find the proper receiver and he does a good job on this play of doing that 
Here it is from the end zone angle. The Chiefs are sugaring Mitch Morse again with this defender right here. And that is, again, to get everybody one-on-one. -on -one. They're getting everyone one-on-one -on -one so that they have a free pass rusher off the edge here and a free pass rusher off the edge over here. Now, they are expecting Singletary to pick up one or the other. How well he picks them up, that's really up to Motor, and Motor does a good job on this play. He was reliable as a pass blocker on this play. You can even see him check inside first and then get outside and pick up the slot defender, giving Josh just enough time to complete this pass to Cole Beasley. It's good placement. It's good thought by Josh Allen and good execution by the entire offense. They had the answer. They scored the touchdown when they needed to. Unfortunately, they came out on the losing end of this game. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Cover One, the Film Room. I'm your host, Eric Turner. I hope that you join us next week for another Film Room breakdown of Josh Allen. Hopefully, Nate Geary and I can get on the same page like Josh Allen and Cole Beasley were on this play and get into the Film Room together. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, thanks for tuning in.